everybody. Welcome to another Matt Hatter review. Uh, quick and casual today. <laughs> so I realized I never uh, did a review of this guy, okay? If you saw, I used him in a uh, sketch that I did where he's in a sitcom called Techno Bros and Crank is his brother. And uh, I don't know, you know what? Sometimes I get these <laughs> these wild thoughts, these uh, some would call them sometimes dumb thoughts that, that I think in my head are just kind of funny. And I'm like, ah, you know what? Let me throw this out there. I know there were a few people going, WTF, what is this? Okay, why why, why would you do this? Uh, you know, because uh, I like to have fun here. But um, uh, I, I do want to give this, uh, this figure its credit. Now, I didn't do a traditional review. Well, I'm trying to do, I was trying to do a traditional review, but uh, I lost the footage. I deleted it by mistake where I had the opening with the box and all that. So um, it's just here by himself. But I did want to spotlight this guy in case people didn't know uh, because uh, this character Slog, uh, uh, High Warden Slog, is part of the Four Horsemen Cosmic Legions line. So Four Horsemen for the longest time uh, was doing just beautiful sort of like medieval sword and sandal fantasy um, kind of uh, characters uh, as part of their um, uh, uh, mythic, uh, mythic legions. And then they expanded into space-ish alien type characters with uh, Cosmic Legions. And um, he, he, Four Horsemen <laughs> is a, it's a dangerous slope for me. Uh, they make beautiful stuff. And if I could, I would get them all. But uh, there's just so much and it's expensive. And the aftermarket is expensive on a lot of them too. So, um, you know, I can't go down that road. But I do pick and choose the Four Horsemen stuff that I want. And when I saw this guy, uh, 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 High Warden, I keep wanting to say Headmaster Slog, <laughs> High Warden Slog, I was like, yeah, I, I feel like I got to have him. He was just so cool, okay? He, he just spoke to me in a way that the others didn't speak to me. Now, the price didn't speak to me. It was $120, okay? I got him from BBTS. Um, I think that's what he cost on the Four Horsemen site. Maybe somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I decided just to take a flyer on him. I'm like, Four Horsemen do great shit. I got him in, and I love this guy. I think he's great. I believe there is some kind of lore that they created for him, but I, I don't know what it is. I just kind of bought him because I just thought that he looked cool. I, I, um, I, I did not buy him because of the sitcom idea. I just kind of got that later, but uh, I just thought this guy was dope. He was almost like... Almost felt like a kingpin alien type character. And so uh, I went in on it. Um, let me just show you what he comes with. So uh, he's got a fist uh, hand in here and he's got a grabby hand. He's got a weapon in there. Uh, here is his other fist hand and his other grabby hand because those are the only uh, two hands that he comes with. And then he comes with this uh, alternate head right here. Okay, this kind of like unimpressed. He has a scar going down his face. He's got the scar going down his face right here and comes with a, a bowl. You could put a bowl over his head and that pops in right there. Okay. In case you, you need him to, to breathe in space. There you go. Although you would assume this guy can already breathe, but, uh, uh, you know, if you want to have that effect, it's kind of cool. Mine, it's kind of like frosted right here at, at the, at the tips. And so, you know, you can, and you can spin it around. It's pretty easy to pop off. It comes with this uh, really cool, it's like a weapon or a reader, but it's got slog on him uh, or a slog type character on, on the little grid right there. And then uh, this part is, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, uh, it looks like some kind of a reader and it's got some, some buttons and some nice paint. And then you can plug this in to the hole right here uh, in the back and just have him uh, just gripping, holding the weapon like this. Slog himself is a beautiful character with just some beautiful paint. I hope this is coming out, but um, I just want to show you guys right here. I was bringing it closer to the camera, but like, look at the mouth with the teeth and like the green has all sorts of like greens in there, lights and a nice wash and a dark green. And then I love the suit. I love this space suit they gave him. It just has all kinds of like metal uh, paint in there and metal work and um, uh, just the, the different types of paint. Look how much stuff is just going on in this spacesuit. Lots of dials and things that are protruding and all this stuff. And and then um, he's got uh, sort of like an orange, looks like almost like an orange spacesuit that's uh, underneath this with, uh, I don't know what this symbol means right here, but um, you know, you have this, you have this right here on the side and uh, he's a, he's a portly fellow as you can see. But I just think that adds to just how cool he is. And then uh, this belt has all kinds of things. I mean, look at this. 
Look at all the freaking detail, the detail on the legs, and here's the other side of him. And then right here on the back, you have all this stuff right here. I love this piece with the with the pink in there and um, this, this part over here. There's just so much going on with this guy. I love it, man. And he's big. He's just such a meaty, big, meaty figure. He does have decent articulation. Uh, this head pops off, but uh, you can kind of move it up a little bit, which uh, I was surprised at. And you can move it down, too. I mean, it's not a whole lot, but you can do something. And then you can obviously move it all the way uh, if you if you wanted to. Shoulders go up about that much. Elbows go about that much. You get a rotation. You get a hinge there. You get some kind of a waist. I mean, check that out. There's a there's a pivot point uh, right where this coil is, and uh, he can kind of just spin around. You get legs go that much right there. No real bendable knee to speak of, but uh, you do get a uh, a swivel right here, and then you get this like funky kind of like foot with a, a really good rock on there and a and a hinge as well so i don't have any other guys from the cosmic legion so i don't really have anybody to compare him to other than just some aliens from <laughs> from other other lines so obviously krang you know his uh fake brother krang and uh zog so you get the the slog and zog connection okay maybe that's the new the new video uh you get a tag team uh, right there <laughs> So that's it. That's a quick one. Um, I'm not going to do a photo montage at the end because I took so many photos of him in the little um, uh, techno bros thing I did. So go watch that video if you want to see just uh, all the stuff that uh, Slog, <laughs> Slog can do. But uh, I really like this figure. Now, is he worth uh, $120? Uh, no offense to the artistry in this, but I feel like this is more of like an 85 to 100 dollar figure okay i i think 120 was a little steep i do love it it's a great figure but um i think it was a steep price i just i don't know it was one of those things that i saw him and i just wanted it and i don't know i kind of had a good week that week so i was like yeah fuck it let me roll the dice but um if you want just like some cool alien figures uh check out cosmic legions they got some more stuff um the new wave has some really cool stuff that i want uh i'm I, i'm not gonna be a completist to any degree in this but just pick and choose stuff like this that I, that I like and um th this will go really well actually in all seriousness with like just some tmnt alien stuff too i just have them in there and fuck it don't tell me how to play with my toys i can mix and match and put them together if i want so uh that's it just want to give you the quick and dirty slog review from the cosmic legions i got this on bbts i don't know if toy stalker has cosmic legions up but he might um and uh, Wave 2, I think it's Wave 2 is coming out soon as well. And I don't know, check them out. Four Horsemen always do great stuff. And uh, this is no exception. Beautiful sculpt, beautiful paint, lots of details. Price, I'm not sure about, but uh, you make your own You make your own choice. And that is it. Hi, Warden Slog. Review in the bag. Bye-bye.